Hello everyone, welcome back. Dope on a rope here. Gonna carry on. Last time you would have seen would have been me getting back from my drive. That was two days ago, I think, when I nearly died going into that stupid house and I shouldn't have. Since then, I did some stuff off camera. It's pretty much just build some stuff. It's, it's general storage. Try to organise getting there. It's taking time. It's surprising how much time it takes to do all this stuff. The days tick down and the bloody your boredom goes up and it's just, ugh. Then you got to stop, read a book. It's like, oof. Still need to cook. I've got no bloody food ready. So that's all. Oof. In doing all of this, I've had to miss out on other things. So going to have to just eat whatever crap we have in the base at the moment. This is a beef jerky we do for now. I do have a packet of crisp on me. But, um, yeah, I do need to cook some, some more stews. Because this is, this is a terrible way to eat your food, really. I'll eat some pineapples. The tinned fruit is just... It doesn't seem to give you much in the way of goodness. And happiness, though. So that is one thing. It's probably worth keeping it for. Because it cheers you up when you're down, but I don't know, you get the exact same benefits from having a freshly cooked stew, so it's meh. Right, so we're going to do the usual, fill up the water bottle, have some food, and then I'm going to head back to the hospital, because I want to finish off grabbing all the medical supplies I can from there. So yeah, all I've done is put my meds in there, put my clothes, some of them anyway, I've started to organise into like trousers, tops, helmets and all that. <coughs> and you've got shoes and socks. Got an extra, you know, what is blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying to get that organised. Got me ammo. I got a shit ton of ammo, which is good. Got me guns. The ones that I've bought, like, together. They're still loading the tents that's all docked around. I still got to do that at some point. I've got one of the M16s. He's not in a great condition, but... I can use that one hopefully to repair another one because I'm pretty sure there's either two or three dotted around. I gotta grab and bring all in. Got my pistols, and I got all me. Well, the pistols that I've got in here that I've brought over here, and all me axes and all that crap I've put put into this one. Just, just get in there slowly, slowly but surely. Yeah, like I say, it just takes. This is surprising how much time it takes. Just check my generator. Yeah, that'd be enough. Right. So yeah, like I was saying, I want to go back to the hospital. I will take the shotgun. I don't know if I'll need it, but it's quite handy if you need to troll a lot of zombies somewhere. And I've started doing the floor, which also takes a surprising amount of time. That was like, I think half of that was 120 planks. And that was only like half of what that is, so the amount of wood I'm going to need to just do the whole bloody lot is ridiculous. But I will, at some point. I'll get there. Right, so I want to take... Oh yeah, and I also forgot that when I did first go to the hospital, I filled this up with all the bloody food. And I forgot to take it out, so everything was rotten, so I've had to... Well, I didn't dispose of it, I stuck it in a composter, so I'm going to get something from it, but... It's annoying that I had that fresh food and I forgot to bloody take it out, but it, it happens. Right, I'll take this one in here. How much fuel has it got? Not much, I don't think. I'd better grab a fuel can in case. Sod's law, get there and bloody run out of fuel. Fuel. I can't remember where I stuck it. Somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure I filled them all up, didn't I? There's no way I used all the. It'll turn up. And I've moved the bodies. Oh, yes, did that. Not these ones, but the ones over there. Or I've done the chunk right here. I just chucked some over there for now. As long as they're out of your sight, it won't affect your, um, your morale.
just kill this fucker, and then I will stick the gas can in the van. Truck. Purely because I don't want to carry the extra weight around with me. Should be good. Ugh, and then it's going back into the fucking hospital. on the ground floor already, but I'll quickly make sure. Oh yeah, there's water. I should take that, actually. Well, it's quiet. Hopefully they won't see me, so I'll crouch. Because I will be very slow when I'm carrying. run in case it... I'm pretty sure you can break your ankles if you run and you're too heavy. I think. So we'll take it nice and slow. Don't want to attract any unwanted attention. Right, I'll stick this in the passenger seat actually. it weighs 30 and the seat can take 20 but you can still stick the 30 on the 20 it's strange but it does make sense you could definitely fit that on a the water dispenser on a passenger seat I see you keep going that way don't mind me okay do mind me <laughs> good with his crowbar, which is good. Right, back here, right, I think this is where I didn't completely go, because it was sketchy. big buildings. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking hell, you cunt. Son of a bitch. Well, that's my one C word for the episode. I don't want to just swear every five seconds. I did all of this, or if I just did some of it. So I'll have a quick look through. I want to grab. 
grab these just because because they're light and they are of some use. Oh, another ward. <laughs> Ooh. Right, I think I did most of it, if not all of it. Unfortunately, all the food will be bad now, because it's been so long. Oatmeal cookie? Okay, I take that back. The majority of the food will be bad. Oh, there's plenty of water down there. Oh my god. They had to see me as well, didn't they? Oh, they didn't know they did. I'm just scared in case someone comes up behind me. Stand on that zombie. for but I'll take it anyway. Where's that key? There's the key. I don't know what for. It's probably bloody useless, but I'd rather have them. Fuck it, how many are there? And then again, you're in a hospital. But then again I did draw a hell of a lot of them out of this bloody hospital. And there's still all these in here. Right. I want to go in there, but I should kill these first. A smart person would. smashing everywhere. I would just shout to get them to come over to me, but I think that would do more damage than it will go. Over here. 
crash your Zoom in. I don't know what's wrong with my mouse, but the wheel's a bit. I like to zoom out so I can see shit, but then I need to zoom back in when I fight. So it's a bit of a bugger when the mouse wheel won't work properly. God, they were on the other side of that fucking door, weren't they? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the fucking first episode of Bloody Walking Dead. <laughs> oh my god, that room full of zombies. Except for in this one, they didn't change the bloody door shut. <laughs> So I was thinking, I'd like to see, in this game, I'd like to see, like, peeing and pooing, and then going to the toilet. I think that'd be a good thing to add, because, you know, you're drinking all the time, you're eating all the time, but you never need to worry about going to the toilet. So I think that'd be something they should, or hopefully they are, um, considering to implement. I think it'd go really well. You know, if you don't pee, you'll piss yourself, which obviously isn't the worst thing in a zombie apocalypse, but you need to, like, affect you. You'll get, like, sores and stuff like that. It might even give you a use for toilet paper as well. You get toilet paper, but you don't need to go for toilet paper. It'd be a good thing. I mean, the Sims do it, so you can do like the Sims do in the sense that you, like, pixel out the genitals and all that stuff. But um, I think it's a good thing they can think about it. Potentially, you could use your um, poop as fertilizer, maybe. I don't know how good human crap is at fertilizing, but it's a potential. Bloody well. Right. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. oh. My God. This is 
is like some sort of sick joke. Man. everywhere. I'm thinking it's keys to houses, but I don't know for sure. It's definitely not car keys. last words, but I don't think. I want the lard and the pie dough. Fruit jam. Don't think you can use that coffee machine, can you? I don't believe so. Right, some stuff. Not as much as I was hoping for, but... At least I can finally move on from this bloody area. Stand back up, because it's... Jesus wept. Not enough, so he'd be like one, two hits and he'd be knackered again. But. I can see myself 
backing up into somewhere I don't want to be. It's the problem with running around. Right, I think I can rest. It's quiet, which is good, but doesn't necessarily mean you are safe. fast forward. Okay, quick, 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 quick. It does cut it out if someone pops up, so you should be alright. There we go. Still, it's dangerous. Right, now is what I was about to say, is that all of them? And no is the answer. this time. There's tons of stuff on these zombies, but I need to prioritize really. that it solves. If I go right here, I'm gonna end up walking up behind that bloody zombie. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Not that it'll do much. But at least I might be able to thin out the herd a little bit. That's a zombie, isn't it? It fucking well is too. Fine. 
duffel bag with fuck all in it. Oh, that was the fuck they all in there for? You don't really need them if you've got the poncho. Right, okay, so... Still... A bit... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well that's where I need to go. But I just have to make sure... I'm safe. I don't think anything knows I'm in here. And I haven't made much noise. So I should be okay. But that is also famous last words. Now in theory I should never need any of this, but I'd rather have it close to hand if I ever do. But I should realistically never need this amount of uh, medical supply. The fuck does that go? Medical supplies. The fuck? Antibiotics are pretty uh, important. Disinfectant as well. I don't need all these scissors, but. I suppose in a way you could stick them on the end of a spear to give it a little bit extra power. So it's not a total waste. The medical masks and shit like that is a waste, but uh, I'm just grabbing it at the moment. Sort out a different time. Okay, now he's full up already. Gotta be careful. I don't get so over encumbered. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back. Well, I'll have to come back anyway because I want to finish doing the whole um, hospital. So I still got another floor, I think, if not another two floors, maybe. Right, so that's good. Shit ton of stuff. <laughs> Make sure nothing's around, because I will be 
be slightly distracted. <clears throat> Just get ready to run away. in the back. Don't fucking piss about like this. Come on. I know there are two down there, but you never know what's come out of the fucking hospital. But you should see... I know it's raining, but hopefully you'd see them by about there. Ideally, I'll get everything I can today, and the next time we come out here, I'm just going to burn the fucking hospital down. Although, by then, I'd have probably killed every fucking zombie inside, so you don't need to, but... In principle, I want to burn this motherfucker down. Everything from around here. Question is, what's up here? Other than probably more and more fucking zombies. Oh, I see you. You ain't sneaking up behind me, little fucker. I knew there'd be more than one. <laughs> Is there anything behind me? Right. Good thing is, seeing as I have got scissors, I can get some extra denim straps while I'm here. and shit. But what the f I bet it's full of food. Yeah, what the f <laughs> Bloody silly. Where milk, milk, oh, I see your ass. <laughs> There are six ice creams. Oh, seven. Fucking hell, there's a load of ice cream. If only I'd have known. Ice cream's really good. Cigarettes in a hospital. That's, uh. It's very, like, nice. <laughs> with a microscope? No. 
There's been more zombies in here than there is in the entire bloody military. It's a car alarm. What the fuck? What the fuck? What, like, I presume the zombies just nudged into it or something. <laughs> Zombies are outside. Them. They're fucking bouncing off of cars. This shit's sketching me out. I need to rest anyway, so I'm gonna go back to my truck. Zombie set off the car alarms before. Not that I know of, anyway. So this is interesting. I want to go investigate, but I'm also tired. <laughs> Seems really weird that this happened. Like really weird. Hopefully that should get most of the zombies out of the hospital. Oh, out of the hospital and directly towards me. Because why not? Where the last news, I know they, uh, they've had a few patch, uh, like patches. So when they're I've done that and I've just never noticed. were inside that hospital then Christ mm. yeah I shouldn't have did that but I did right. hopefully it'd be nice and quiet in here now but a part of me expects there to still be a shit ton more zombies in here I mean I know cars have had alarms when you and, and like you, the player, can set them off, but I never realised. I mean, it makes sense if they bump into a car with the alarm on. It'll, there's a chance you could set the alarm off and all that, but I don't think I've ever seen it. 
Or I have, and I've just never really paid any attention. Right, well, the day's pretty much over. I spent it just getting the fucking zombies, let alone getting the stuff out of the goddamn hospital. So I get the feeling I'm going to have to come back again. <laughs> can't rest on that stool. Rest, for fuck's sake. Right, so I think I'm going to have to come back here again. I don't, whoa, I don't think I'm going to get it all done. Before I'm so exhausted that uh, I just got to go. You won't be killing the zombies. You'll get yourself killed more than anything else. <laughs> Look at this shit. Where the fuck? Still more, still more, always more. Oh, yep, yeah, I fucking knew it'd be in here. Luckily, I think that's the one that was in the room across the hallway, so it should. Well, it should. Wink, wink. Is that a green shirt? I know, I'm distracting myself. But is that a bright green? I am having that. I do like green. Are you fucking serious? I, I mean, I presume they're all just being attracted to the noise of me killing zombies, but... It, there is a point when it gets a bit fucking silly. Now this hit that point quite a while ago. Look at all... I've killed all of these. It's fucking ludicrous. This place was nice and clean earlier. Sterile, you could say. But now... <laughs> fucking bloodbath. <laughs> Is that rain? Okay, it is rain. I can hear so much more since I've got these headphones. Back when I used to just play it through, like, the sound through the TV. Half the shit I'd never hear. But now it's like, oh. I can, like, hear a zombie fart in the building across the fucking road, you know what I mean? It's madness. Right, that should be enough. Just wanna grab some shit and go. Right now, 
is it clear? Clear enough. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Now this place looks like it might have some goodies. Matches I should probably take. Cigarettes. I don't want to smoke, but I know you can use them to make um, some sort of pesticide stuff. Which will be handy. and all that. Yep. There's definitely someone coming. Or at least fucking around in the nearby area. But yeah, this is definitely the place to go. Sleeping tablets I've never seen a use for. Why would you ever want to take a sleeping tablet? I mean, it just seems... But then again, I suppose... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I saw your ass. Swear, if this is like broadcasting everything I say, like actually broadcasting it in game, <laughs> that'd be fucking horrific. That's the only thing I could think of, really, because they keep coming. Unless it's the crowbar, because I, I expect the crowbar to someone's heading with a crowbar before so it's hard to tell how much noise it should make. see me because I'm inside but they are definitely constantly coming to where I am so it's either because I'm walking because I didn't see I didn't choose graceful so graceful would probably make you a bit quieter I chose inconspicuous so they wouldn't notice you so it might be the fact that they are literally hearing my footsteps which would make sense I am on the floor above. Let's see if they're coming from down below, so. But then, you think a hospital has quite thick floors. It's not like the fucking floors in your house. Right, well, I think I actually got them all. Ah. He says, still hearing them everywhere he goes. Ugh. More stuff. I want to go in there, but I know it's potentially yep, going to get my ass killed. <laughs> Say 
probably about seven, half seven, you're gonna wanna start heading back. Maybe a bit before. He's definitely getting a lot weaker because he's getting tired. Which makes combat all the more dangerous. Definitely fucking knackered. Flip over. Please don't flip over. Because I don't think I'd flip you back over. Grab what I can. Right, I should have took him really by then. I couldn't fill him up, let him fill that and the trailer up. I do need to cook some food. I don't think I'm going to have time today. Uh, where am I going? that, 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 oh hang on, most of it isn't even fucking medical stuff. <laughs> so of everything he picked up, he picked up everything that wasn't medical stuff. It's fair enough I suppose. Yeah I still got some stuff, I got to tweak where to put it, but um, to be fair to it might pay just to chuck it over here straight for now, and then sort it from there. Not bad. I did get a hell of a lot of medical stuff, which is what I was going out to do. Unfortunately, the, all, the whole plan was to completely empty it in the one day. I should have known there'd be so many zombies in there, but I was optimistic and thinking 
there wasn't going to be any, but oh, how wrong I was. Alright, just chuck all this shit in there, and then I'm going to get the water dispenser out. Because if I go back tomorrow, I'll grab another one. I'd rather have all of them here. I never need them. <coughs> I might try and cook something today, but I don't know. I like to try and cook it all in the one go. So I might make the stews and then cook them tomorrow. I do need to move my barbecues. I don't think they catch fire, but I presume there is a chance. It's just a roll of the dice, but it's just a very low, low, low chance. Right, so we'll put him down. I didn't catch what the weatherman said, but I'm presuming it's more rain. Right, okay, so I will make some stews. Nope, no I won't. <laughs> I will take the food out of the freezer so it's fresh for tomorrow, because you can't make it when it's frozen. So, bugger. Take that and that out. Because you're going to want meat, chicken. Keep the hams in there. Hams are really good. Uh, da -da 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 -da, mutton chops. And. Uh, say one pork chop. Oh, I don't know. It's quite a lot of. I've got seven cooking pots, so it might be a bit more. Right. Then I will want a sack of potatoes. Fuck it, why not? That should be good. And then from there, stick it all in the fridge. So then by tomorrow when I wake up, it will all have defrosted. And then I can make the stews. So I might put off going back to the hospital till not tomorrow, the day after, yeah. Because I'll probably spend the majority of the day cooking. Um, then once I finish cooking, I might just do some more bits around the base. Because I definitely need to get some food, like, made. 72, yeah, it's, it is going down. Um... Probably, I don't know. Hmm. Take some more meat out. I might need to actually start proper pounding meat into my mouth. <laughs> to yeah, fuck it, just take all the ground beef out. Meat and potato stew. That should be good enough to hopefully start putting my weight back up. Is there any books I need to read at the moment? I don't think so. Tailoring I should do at some point, but it's not a big deal for the moment. Trapping I've never been any good at. Foraging's handy. Um, fishing, obviously, very handy. So, yeah, so I've read all my books are up together, so that is good. All I need to do is actually start doing them. Quickly grab some food, and then I will call it a day for the day. Have a tin of beans. But yeah, I'd, um, I really hope they do put, like, needing the toilet into the game. Because it makes sense. It 
would give you like a reason to have, you know, the, like the toilets or have the outhouse, those blue outhouses, or even not, you could just dig like a makeshift one, dig a hole, and etc. It just seems like something this this game should definitely have in it. So hopefully they will do something along those lines. But guys, thank you for watching. It's a bit of a shorter one today, but it's uh, it it took a lot out of my character killing all those zombies in the fucking hospital. So next time, I might record another one with me cooking the food and doing bits around the house or the base just to show you what I go through each fucking time. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Take it steady.